This was my gaming setup then, and this is my gaming setup now. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my setup progression throughout the years. 2008, the year I was born. Now, let's fast forward 11 years. Some may think that a voice had a great gaming setup. Well, it was humble beginnings, and we all started somewhere, and this is where I started. We were living at my grandparents' house, renting one room, and this was my childhood home. Doing the mannequin challenge. And this is my first setup that I started with. I was gaming on my PS4, using my TV as a monitor. And since I was playing soccer, I had a camping chair that I could use. Are right, you guys see those paintings right there? Watch this. We still got them right here. Anyways, it was something I wanted to show you guys real quick, so back to the video. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a little comfortable. But this was my setup. Nothing too crazy, but I definitely enjoyed it. The year was now 2020, and the brand new PS5 had recently released. So more time has passed, and it was now my birthday. And of course, we spent time with family. We went to the batting cages and had a good time. But as the night was about to end, my dad surprised me with his brand new PS5. I mean, just look at that smile on my face. <laughs> And around that time, me and my family were in the process of moving to our new apartment. And so this is a setup that I had for the time being while we were moving in. I was playing on the PS5 while using my TV, and you already know I was playing that Naruto Shippuden game. Believe I don't even it. know if you pronounce it that way, but you guys let me know in the comments down below if that's the right way to pronounce it. But I always wanted to start a YouTube channel, vlogging, and also streaming, showing off my gameplay to people around the world. So my dad got me the Sony ZV-1 so I could start vlogging, but also use it as my webcam for my streams. And that brings me to my next setup. And this setup was nothing crazy. And the setup is where I spent most of my time, whether it be streaming or vlogging. And since I was using my dad's old gaming laptop to stream and my PS5 to game, how to use a capture card and setting it up was a hassle. But it all worked out and I had fun at this setup. I can't build. <laughs> My brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But as time passed, I came up with an idea. Thought of making another YouTube channel, but this time doing things like building a gaming PC, building gaming setups, and just giving out good quality content to my viewers. And so that's what we did. So my dad got everything that we needed to start building the PC. There were ups and downs, but we learned as we go. But once we had finished building the PC, it was time to start working on the setup. And it took us longer than we had wanted it to. But it was totally worth it. And I love this setup. I had the face clamp Mirakami blue mouse pad, a budget mouse and keyboard, and a few other things. And I really did have fun here, achieving so many goals. So I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys have been showing me on the channel. But as time went on, the setup did get messy. So we thought it was time to change and rebuild the setup. And so I bounced ideas around with my family. It was a long process to finishing my gaming setup. Going to San Diego to get some plants, waiting for the item to arrive. It was a lot, but it was definitely worth it. And this is what the room looked like during the process of building the gaming setup. I also made a full on YouTube video on building my gaming setup. So if you guys wanna check that out, it'd be much appreciated. It is now 2024 and this is my current gaming setup. So, roll the montage. Uh, you know what we gotta do? Roll the montage.